Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie if you're new here and I'm so excited to be starting vlogmas This is actually my first time ever doing vlogmas. I recently did vlogtober and I loved it And so I decided to do vlogmas I drinking an Americano right now in my little holiday Christmas mug and I'm so excited today is uh, for you guys December 1st and I do film two days uh, ahead of you guys so today for me is actually November 29th. So Vlogmas, I believe, starts it's December 1st through December 25th, I believe. So I'm super excited, you guys. Uh, I have a couple things planned today. Today, Taylor will be heading out to work soon, and they are actually outside in the backyard playing. Taylor's out there. A couple updates before we get started with Vlogmas. Uh, if you see that my son, my oldest, is in a cast or is scooting along the floor that's because he accidentally broke his foot a couple weeks ago by jumping off the couch and so he's in a cast tomorrow he actually has a ct scan in st louis and so uh they are going to see if it needs surgery we are praying that that does not have to happen and praying that it is healing fine and will continue to heal fine uh, because I cannot imagine going through that <laughs> as a mama. <laughs> I, I don't know what the Lord's will is, but I'm just praying that he is healing fine. Uh, so they're just going to confirm that it's healing great. And um, like I said, he's in a cast. He cannot walk. He's got to scoot around or crawl around. But we do have it bagged up in like a sack when he goes in the backyard. And then I just put on his um, snowsuit. That way his clothes don't get dirty um, from scooting. So anyway, that's just a little update. Uh, he is handling it like a champ. He is such a good sport and it doesn't really bother him anymore. The first week he was in pain um, quite a bit and he's doing great now. So anyway, that's a little update. Also, the majority of our house is completely painted back to the original color that the base requires when you move out. And so we just have to finish painting the ceiling in here and then it'll be completely done. So that will be on our to-do list this month to finish and uh, we will actually, uh, Lord willing, be moving January 23rd-ish, I think, maybe 22nd. I'm not even sure yet, um, but that's kind of our moving point. We, if you guys are new here, we're a military family, my husband, is an air traffic controller in the Air Force and he um, is about to complete his six-year enlistment and so uh, which will be ending and so we decided to separate from the military and we are gonna do something else supposedly stick with air traffic control uh, I'm gonna give you guys an update when all this stuff is like you know working itself out we're still in the thick of like trying to figure out um, what's next he's doing all the stuff for the FAA which is what we are hoping and praying is the route for us. He is in the FAA. He did get a spot in the FAA, supposedly. Um, we're just, so we're in, but we're just getting through the process of all that. So that's great. But like I said, we still, a lot of the questions that you guys ask, we don't have answers to quite yet. But once we do, and once we know where we're going and everything, we will sit down and do a Q&A for you guys. So uh, as of right now, we are still just waiting on the Lord, waiting for our next step in this whole process but everything is going smoothly as as blurry as some of it is we, ha we do have a lot of peace because we know that god um, has the whole situation in control so anyway uh, i wanted to show you real quick our advents i did end up ordering the ann voskamp advent series because i think that'll be a great addition to our christmas now that my little ones are getting older my oldest is almost four so he is going to really be able to grasp most of this uh, and so I want to share that with you guys because I've never personally done an advent and so I really wanted to incorporate that with our Christmas um, season and it's kind of set a tradition. We don't do Santa Claus. We um, really try to keep the focus of Christmas on Christ and so I think this advent will be a great addition and encouragement for our family with that. So let me show you real quick. Let me drink some coffee before <laughs> my coffee gets cold. All right, so here is Advent. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I can link this stuff down below, just the ones I chose. So this is her book, The Greatest Gift. I'm excited to read this. And then this is 
a family celebration of Christmas and wrapping the greatest gift. And I love the illustrations in this. So each day you do a little, so December 1st, we're gonna start today since we're doing our Christmas a little bit early. Um, and then there's scripture, a little story, and then you move on to the next day. So I thought this was just lovely. And I love the illustrations. They're bright and beautiful to catch children's attention. And then this is the advent uh, that she has. And it's this Christmas tree in this book. I haven't opened it yet because um, we're gonna start it today. And they do have a group study, that's cool. We're excited. So we're gonna start that today. And we're also going to do um, some Christmas craft. I We're gonna make some gingerbread cookies uh, because we made the dough yesterday. I We made the cook some cookies last night and so we're gonna make the rest of them today. That's something I love doing with the boys, uh, especially in the evenings when it gets dark early. It's just something fun to get them busy. And then uh, I did actually also, did actually also, that's kind of redundant. I did um, go to Hobby Lobby a couple weeks ago and purchased a bunch of their Christmas crafts and they were all like 60% off. So I got a ton of them for super cheap. And so I had, there's some that you can make ornaments and different things. Uh, we haven't currently set up our Christmas tree yet because we usually get a real tree. And last year we you know, started the tradition of chopping our Christmas tree down. <laughs> And I'm bummed because we really have been talking about it. So I think what we're going to do is go to like Lowe's or I think even our local farm that we did chop it down has some pre-cut trees. So we may just go do that and pick one out. And I think we're gonna do that tomorrow and get that set up and start decorating for Christmas. So I did also already order all the kids Christmas presents. So I can show you guys those uh, today as well. Maybe at nap time I'll do that. but. I've chatted for about 10 minutes long, so <laughs> this may be a long first video, but I had to catch you guys up. And it is really cloudy, so I think it's gonna storm maybe today. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> may rain, but glad they're getting outside to play for a little bit. So I'm gonna let them know that, that I'm done. We did already eat breakfast. I made uh, banana nut muffins. I'll link the recipe. It was really, really good. They actually rose and created a cute little muffin top. <laughs> Well, Taylor is putting Noble down for a nap, and we've already eaten lunch. We just did some sandwiches. I need to clean up breakfast and lunch dishes. So I'm probably gonna do that really quick, and then I'm going to probably work on my knitting project or read my book, one of the two. Also, there is a load of towels in the dryer that I'm going to, that I'm planning to put away later today, but I'm pretty much caught up on laundry, which is good, and I need to do something with all their outdoor clothes, but I'm probably just gonna leave that there in case they wanna go back out later. It hasn't rained yet. It looks like it's going to rain, um, but the high today is supposedly 60, so I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, Ivy's in the living room playing in her exer saucer. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do these dishes and then chill out while the kids nap. Oh, and I was gonna show you guys their Christmas present. Do that after I do the dishes.
Okay, I just came upstairs, made the bed, and I set out all the kids' Christmas presents and what we're getting them. They will also have a stocking, uh, but we do keep it minimal. And I will say, <laughs> buying for three kids now really adds up. Like, toys are not cheap anymore. I mean, better quality toys are not cheap. These are things we'll add to the toys that we have, and then some of these things they requested. They each requested a remote control car for Christmas, so they each got one of those. They also have a group gift, um, so we do toys for each individual kid and then a group gift. So let me show you real quick what we got them. Okay, so we'll start over here with Noble. Um, we love magnetiles, so we bought them each a set. They don't have this set yet, and so um, they'll each get magnetiles. This is the remote control car that I picked out. It was around $30, I believe, because it like does all these different things. I do still need to buy batteries. Um, but so that's the one Noble's gonna get. A little Play-Doh kit, they love Play-Doh. And then this is a uh, fireman um, dress up costume thing from Melissa and Doug. And I got all the stuff on Amazon except Ivy's thing I got on Etsy. So this is their group gift. This is a Tony box. This is a very <laughs> pricey item, but I knew that we would really enjoy this. It's a good screen free option. It plays like audio stories. Um, they have these little characters that they can set on top. I still have one of the characters coming in, but I did get one of them. I think my sister actually got this one, so I may have to return this one. But they have all different characters that tell different stories. Uh, so they can just like, I guess they set it on top and it'll play the story. So that's their group gift. I think they're really gonna enjoy that. You can take it in the car. You could just have it playing in the background. You do like music, all kinds of different stuff. So that's their Tony box. I ended up getting blue. I think I would have gone for the gray one, but I think the gray one was like out of stock or something. But okay, this is kind of blurry. Okay, so these are Field's gifts. So Field's gonna get the Safari set of magnetiles. This is his remote control car in blue. He's got a little Play-Doh set. And then he's getting the police officer dress up costume. So that's his. And then Nobi is gonna also get a Tony as well, which his is still coming in now. Okay, so this is Ivy stuff. I bought her Sophie the Giraffe Teether. I've always wanted to buy one of these, um, but I had boys, which I guess you could use these for boys. I finally bought one of these for her. I think she's gonna really enjoy that. And then she also got this little baby. I found this on Etsy and had her, you could monogram their name on it. Um, just the sweetest little plush baby doll. I shared this in Vlogtober, um, but just a little baby doll that's soft. Hat little comes off. Comes with a little bottle. I'll link what I can, but um, I think I did link this back in Vlogtober, but cutest little thing. So she's gonna get these two things cause she's only <laughs> nine months, almost nine months. So she doesn't really quite grasp the concept of Christmas, but some little fun things for her. So that's their gifts. And I'm also gonna be sharing their stockings and what's going in them soon. Uh, I still need to buy a couple more things. I usually get stuff from Dollar Tree or just like fun snacks. Um, they're also getting a uh, Schleich animal. I think that's how you say that. I feel like I always butcher that name, but a little animal because they already have a bunch of them and they play with them all the time. So they're gonna get one of those in their stockings. So that's what we're getting the kids. So Taylor just went upstairs to take a shower. He just did a workout and I started the advent book <laughs> and boss camp and it's really good. <laughs> She's so sweet, you guys. Can't believe she's gonna be nine months. She's already crawling. She has two teeth, but she's super sweet. I'm gonna put her down for a nap pretty soon, and then the kids will probably wake up in about 30 minutes to an hour. We'll see. Um, it's currently uh, about 10 after eight, after one, so I think when they wake up, we'll do a craft and uh, do gingerbread cookies later. Um, to see where the, where the day takes us. Well, the boys are up from their naps. It's 11 after two. Ivy is sleeping. She's taking her second nap of the day. And I'm just having a little snack with Field. Noble's watching 321 Penguins. 
my little snack. And then I've got my uh, planner, planner over here. And I'm just writing down some goals for the new year of stuff that I would like to um, focus on. And this is just a banana muffin from this morning. So Field's gonna have a muffin too. We're gonna do a quick little craft. I'm gonna have the boys paint these little treat ornaments that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so we just got done doing our crafts. We've got Noble's little painted ornaments there and Fields is right there. Um, so we're gonna start doing the gingerbread cookies. This is the dough that I had in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So this recipe for the gingerbread cookies, I will leave linked down below. It's actually on my blog. This is a recipe that I've been using for the past five -ish years. It's really good. They're soft and they're delicious. So we've got, got Fields cookies here. He's <laughs> eating it. And then Noble's working on his. And then Miss Ivy is just following us on the ground. The cookies just came out of the oven. They look so yummy and it smells so good in here. So just gonna let those cool off. And then we'll do dinner pretty soon. Well, I just put my youngest two down for bed. Uh, it is a little after six, but it is one of those days where the youngest two need to go to bed. <laughs> so they're in bed asleep and Noble is watching um, a Bible adventure uh, cartoon and I just finished cleaning up the kitchen, so everything is pretty pretty tidy. I'm just looking over my planner. Uh, so, <laughs> Noble's appointment is in the morning at, I think, 9. And so Taylor and him are going to leave early and go do that. There is several muffins left over, so I think Field can uh, we'll just do a simple breakfast of leftover muffins for breakfast tomorrow and then we can take a muffin with him and then i think for lunch tomorrow i may do chili because whenever they get back it'll probably be around lunchtime and uh we may go get our christmas tree like i said and do all that stuff so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog of vlog vlogmas day one i hope you guys enjoyed it it's great to be back <laughs> Uh, this is like the last one of the last months that we'll be in this house So I'm excited to vlog it and to capture these days and share them with you guys So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day two. Bye